Hi, I'm Jeff Gunn, and I'm very happy to be at Guitar World today. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about percussion on guitar, and how to treat your guitar like a drum kit, essentially. Now, we can get all kinds of different uh, percussive sounds depending on whether we use our finger, a single finger, or fingers, or the palm of our hand, maybe the knuckles, and depending on where we strike the actual string, um, over where the soundboard would normally be, uh, over towards the fretboard, or anywhere on the body, basically. You can hear all the different kinds of tones that you can get, depending on where you hit. Now, first thing I want to start with today is basically taking a uh, G major chord, and uh, we're going to use the face of our hand, our strumming hand, that is. And all we're going to do is we're going to basically go. And we're going to count it like one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. Now I'm actually going to add percussive hits on beats two and four on the actual fretboard. So it would sound like this, one and two, three and four. And I can actually go one and two and three and four. And now sped up, it sounds like this. Now, I can actually take progressions and use this. It's very useful if you're accompanying, say, a singer, there's no drummer, and you want to add your own percussive voice to the music, this is where it comes in handy. Or if you're a solo guitarist and you are playing uh, shows just yourself. You can hear how that goes. Now, um, if we actually hammer on the entire chord using a G major chord, on the end of each beat, or beats two and four rather, it could sound like this. We could go one and two e and a three and four e and a one and two e and a three and a four e and a. Sped up, it sounds like this. Now, how do we apply that to a progression? Well, I'll show you. We're going to basically hammer on the chord um, and basically. We're striking the open strings and then we're hammering on the chord on, on the end uh, of beats two and four. It sounds like this. Cool. Now, we can also not just use 4-4 four, four time, we can also go to and use triplets, if you will. And basically, well, we'll stay in 4-4 four, four time, but we're going to use triplets. In this case here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to strike the open strings, and then we're going to hammer on the chord twice. So we're going to take our G major chord, and we're going to go one, chip, lip, two, chip, lip, three, chip, lip. Sped up, it sounds like this. Okay, now I'm actually going to add hits on the fretboard on beats two and four. So it would sound like this. Now sped up, it sounds like this. You can have lots of fun with that too. And it works really good with the E major chord. Almost a bluesy type intro to a song where you're going. You're with the vocalist and it works very nicely. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to move on to is actually not only using the face of our hand, strumming hand that is to uh, get percussive sounds out of the chords but also using the side of our thumb. If I take a chord like a C major for example and I actually use the side of my thumb and strike the strings like that I can actually add my beats two and four on the actual body of the guitar. So it could sound like this. One, two, three. Sped up or using a progression you would count like this. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. all kinds of cool things with that too. So we're exploring different sounds that you get depending on whether you're using the palm of your hand or the side of your thumb. Now, I can actually sound harmonics using percussive techniques as well. Uh, for example, if I make a G major chord and I count up 12 frets from where my fingers are, let's take the uh, fifth string and fourth string, they're at the fifth fret, so I'm actually going to count up to the 17th. And if I actually strike the two strings, the fifth string and the fourth string at the 17th fret, you can hear I get the harmonics percussively. Okay, now if I move that down to the third fret, it sounds like this. And it gives you a really kind of cool sound 
when you're exploring the sounds of the guitar. We've talked a little bit about how you can get different percussive sounds on the guitar. Now we're going to look at how you can actually sound harmonics using percussion. So for example, I can take my fingering hand, I can take the third finger, and actually hit at the 12th fret bar. And you can hear how you can actually get harmonics from that. You're sounding the harmonics, but percussively. I can also use my strumming hand, for example, and I can strike it here at, um, I'm going to make a little bit of a C uh, major chord here, and I'm going to strike the top part of that chord up here on the um, 19th fret. Now, how can I actually use that in progression? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the actual progression on the lower six, uh, lower three strings, and I'm going to do some percussion up here using my right hand. So an example of a progression where you could actually apply this would be something like this. And there you can hear I'm actually hitting percussively the natural harmonics, but I'm also playing a progression underneath it where I'm having to hammer the chord on. Now, beyond actual natural harmonic uh, percussion, we can also use artificial harmonic percussion as well, too. So let me just uh, bar here at the uh, fifth fret, top five strings, and um, I'm just going to basically count up 12 frets, and I'm actually going to put my fingers like this, and I'm going to actually tap the metal fret bar. You can hear that. Now I'm going to take my third finger and fourth finger and put them on the seventh fret, and I'm actually going to count up two more now to the 19th fret, and it sounds like this. Now I'm going to go back and take it off, and I get that. As long as I keep the 12th fret distance and I actually tap the metal fret bar, I can actually um, get those sounds. So sped up, it would sound like this. And I can get all kinds of really cool things to use in song. Now you can also use percussion on electric guitar as well too. Um, and what you want to do is the exact same technique. I'm going to use the palm of my strumming hand. And uh, basically, I'm going to combine some hammer-on chords using a G major, B minor, D major, and then the um, B minor with the C sharp bass. All right, so I'm going to play a progression. And this is actually from a song called uh, Never Give Up with uh, multimedia artist uh, Terrence John. Now, I'm going to uh, finish off today by playing a little excerpt from a song that uses percussion and combines some of the lessons learned in the first segment we looked at artificial harmonics as well as percussion. Um, if you want to come visit uh, my website, it's jeffgunn.ca, uh, and check out the uh, book series Hidden Sounds Guitar, uh, which is available there and a lot of different places. Thank you.